Hey, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Master Paul. I'm honored to be connecting with you today. It is a Thursday, and I believe it's the seventh of the month. Uh, what month is it? I think we're in July. We just had Tuesday, which was the 4th of July, so that makes us the sixth of the month. I was not far off. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. Today will be a very powerful day. Today we're going to focus on how to fully further develop your soul communication abilities. We'll be actually uh, offering practices as well as wisdom so you can, and you'll be receiving some, some very special blessings today as well. I received permission to offer some very special blessings. And uh, those are going to assist you tremendously if you practice with them <laughs> of course no miracles are going to occur if you don't do your part <clears throat> but uh, everyone wants to improve the ability to communicate soul to soul and everyone and everything has a soul and yet the ability to hear clearly the ability to listen well uh, can change a few things and so it's a great opportunity today to learn a bit more about the nature of soul about the nature of communication soul to soul and then how to further enhance your abilities every soul has the ability to communicate to other souls it is not a special uh, treat that's only for a few people uh, every soul has um, the divine in it therefore it can be communicated with and so what separates some people that can communicate very clearly and receive answers, guidance, wisdom, etc., <coughs> from those that uh, are just unable to. There's a variety of things that can separate us, but um, we're going to discuss some of those things today, and we're going to discuss how you can clear some of those blockages so that you can get more practice communicating. All right, so that's what you can look forward to today. So thank you, uh, all those who are just jumping in right now. Very grateful to Facebook for its uh, service to humanity. It's ma it makes for a medium through which this can be offered. So I'm grateful for that opportunity. This morning, <coughs> I was out with my, uh, my wife and we were communicating with a gentleman about um, uh, a new service, a new business. And... Um, it all worked out very, very well. It was kind of exciting. And I did soul communication. I did soul communication before we met. And did soul communication with heaven as well to ask for assistance in making this business uh, proposition work as best as possible. It was very smooth and very successful. So it's an example. Soul communication can be used in so many different areas of life. Uh, but one of the keys is the ability to open ourselves to hearing well, to uh, and to applying that wisdom so let me acknowledge those who are <coughs> tuning in welcome to sherry jarman aloha sherry welcome lisa welcome also to Kristen rojas aloha thank you for your service Kristen. welcome zilki welcome to becky lafav aloha to uh says garcia hope you can stick around says welcome to susan birchmore aloha ali aloha delta Della. It always looks like Delta when I read it, Della. It looks like it's a T uh, after your L. Uh, welcome also to Randy Capistrano. Aloha. Welcome, Shelly. Maurizi Wilborn. And welcome also to, uh, to Kathy Monaghan. Welcome, Angie Taylor. Welcome, Janice Crosby. Welcome, Rain Wayne. Welcome, Terry Duro. Aloha to uh, Margie. Aloha Nancy, Aloha Don Robinson, great to see you here, Aloha Ari, and welcome Michelle Fitzmaurice, welcome Sharon Dodd, <coughs> and welcome Diane Martin. Such pretty flowers, Diane, I haven't seen those vivid colors popping up before, very nice. And welcome Danette Morton Page. So for those just tuning in, today's subject matter is how to improve our soul communication abilities. And as is a pattern with my live streams that I've been doing for over a year now, 
the part of opening our soul communication channels is having an open heart center, an open message center. Because what is a message center? What is the heart center? What is the heart chakra? It is a message center. What messages are we receiving? Messages from heaven, messages from all souls. So if it's a message center, how do you receive messages if it's not open, right? So that's why the heart center is called the message center. And my, my spiritual father is teaching Master Shah. He calls it a message center, which is the first time I've heard that. But it completely makes sense, the name. <clears throat> and so we will start by chanting love, peace, and harmony to connect hearts to hearts, soul to soul, and to open our heart center. Okay, so I encourage you to follow and I will lead you through a invocation to more fully open and develop our message center, which is the first part. All right, welcome Aspasia and also welcome Kayla and welcome all those other souls I might not have seen or acknowledged yet. Welcome Master Avi. <clears throat> so let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is much like a uh, the prayer position will drop the left hand in front of the heart center. This is called a hand mudra. Welcome Catherine O'Shea. Let us close our eyes, fully connect. As appropriate, if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved creator, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including my individual heavens team, guides, angels, and saints. Dear the soul of all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you all. Thank you for your unconditional service to humanity. We are deeply humbled and honored for the opportunity to receive your blessings today. I ask all the beings of light as appropriate to please come to sit in my message center. Bless me to fully develop my soul communication. Bless me to release blockages in my channels that I might receive communications clearly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue. Dear the source soul song of love, peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. We invite you to please come and I invite all souls in all universes to chant love, peace and harmony to offer their unconditional service. We also ask the soul song of love, peace and harmony to more fully develop our soul communication and release blockages inhibiting us from healthy, effective, correct soul communication thank you thank you thank you so anyone new tuning in this is a service this is a blessing and it is also an instrument to serve humanity so uh, make a request <coughs> silently and for all who wishes to offer the service let us chant together Lula, 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 la, li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, 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 Run and lay, wrong ning, wrong harmusher, shung, shung, I ping on a shang, shung, I ping on a shang. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, 
and harmony. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I had sing that song for hours, and I have. It's a great service. We've had a few more folks join us, so welcome Kayla, welcome Ari, <coughs> aloha. Uh, aloha also to Angela Diacomo, welcome Master Malia, thank you for taking the time to join us in your very busy schedule. Welcome Candy, and I'll also welcome to CJ, and anybody else, if I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. Thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other folks know about this beautiful opportunity to uh, open their heart and soul more. So today is how we can further develop our soul communication abilities. So all of us, all of us have these abilities already intact. It's like saying, I can't see, I can't smell, I can't hear, I can't think. If you're doing any of those, obviously you have those abilities. <clears throat> but because it happens for you every day, you know it. Soul communication happens for us every day also. We just don't always recognize it or claim it as such. And so soul communication is hearing messages from the soul world, starting with your own soul. Then you may hear messages from other souls. Part of the teachings that Master Shah brings to humanity is that everything is from Source Creator. All energy, all matter. All energy and matter that makes up the sand, all energy and matter that makes up everything. Therefore, everything has spark or, or creator essence in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. So if everything has a soul, that means that the telephone or computer you're watching through has a soul also. All souls have a single singular purpose. Whether we remember it or not is a whole other question. But all souls have a singular purpose, which is to serve. So the monitor you're watching me through is serving you. Um, the podcast you're listening through is serving you. These souls are serving and therefore they are receiving virtue. For their service, the virtue allows them to elevate their soul's standing, thereby going through the process of returning back to the source creator. That's the simple teaching on soul. So soul communication is a recognition that all souls can communicate with each other. Welcome, Jess Christensen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. So all souls can communicate with each other and very often do communicate with each other. The ability to hear, react, respond is a whole nother question. But souls are constantly and forever communicating with each other. Those that have crossed over could be communicating with you. You may be communicating with those that have crossed over, loved ones, um, but you cannot hear them connecting with you and replying back. So there are also the souls of many things that we would think or we have been taught that do not have um, uh, an essence. For example, a vehicle. We might have a name for a vehicle, but we don't necessarily consider that it might have a soul or that it's serving us. But according to the wisdom that my teacher brings to humanity, in fact, it does have a soul and it is serving us. So once you start to comprehend that everyone and everything has a soul and that every soul's purpose is to serve and you just wrap your mind around that on a consistent basis, soul communication itself can become substantially easier. Welcome Robin Toth. Soul communication occurs when we have cleared blockages in our energetic body. So we, as most of you who are watching know, uh, have a vessel, a, a physical, emotional, mental, spiritual vessel. And all human beings are built the same in that we have the chakra system, we have the energy meridian system, and we have the various blockages in this uh, vessel called the human body. Since we are a soul having a physical experience, and it stands to reason our soul is always trying to communicate with us, right? Uh, pretty, pretty common. Uh, and so the soul is always trying to communicate with us. Now the question becomes, what's it trying to say? What would you think? Is your soul trying to say, hi, I love you? Um, my guess is yes, probably even more than that. It might sometimes be saying, no, don't go there, don't do that. Sometimes it might be saying, yes, that's the right direction, go do that. 
Sometimes it might be saying, ignore your monkey mind, listen to me. So the soul is constantly communicating with us, our own soul. We can dramatically increase our ability to communicate with not only our own soul, but other souls when we recognize the general nature that everything has a soul and that they're always trying to communicate with us. It's not really not as foreign as it might sound. We human beings actually have more senses, quite a few more senses than the five we are accustomed to. Uh, our brain, it has been said, and it's probably pretty accurate, that we use somewhere between five and 10% of our total potential brain function. That means that 90% <laughs> is not being used. There's a reasonable chance that there's a few additional uh, uh, um, senses or sense abilities that are associated with, with our, uh, our brain up there that, that could be serving us. So that's just a, a joke. But in terms of the, the spiritual body, the ability to open our spiritual channels and further develop our soul communication can happen in a, it literally takes an entire weekend workshop. I should probably just do a weekend workshop on how to open your spiritual channels. Um, show of hands, how many people want me to open a, a workshop, uh, take a whole weekend, you have to be able to commit to two eight hour shifts of opening your spiritual channels. I'm waiting. I know it's a little delay. <clears throat> so welcome to Alicia Jade Kwan. And welcome uh, Kristen Strachan. Welcome Megan Raquel. Yeah, busy trying to sit up in my chair and knocking the phone everywhere. Okay. So, oh good. I see some comments. Yes, I would love that. That would be awesome. Good stuff. Hands up. Okay. So I will, uh, I will check guidance, which is a form of soul communication and see just how many people might come. And of course, it would have a small honor fee. Try to make it as affordable as possible so you get some value out of it. Um, soul communication. I started out by talking about the message center. Now, if you followed me for a while, you know we do message center practices, well, often actually, but dedicated focused medic, uh, practices would be uh, something I do maybe once every two weeks. But it is extremely important. It's called a message center for a reason. Think about it. You have this channel that runs from the crown of your head down to the base of your torso, connecting to Mother Earth, connecting to Father Heaven. That's Dad, Mom is beneath us, and we're the child in the middle. And they're always talking to us. How come we can't hear them? They're talking to us 100% of the time. They're giving us their love, their frequency, their energies. If we were truly attuned, and fully receiving all that they were offering, we would literally not be have a need for eating. We would have, have zero needs. We could just hop over to Japan in a, in a heartbeat. Why aren't we there? Because our vessel is thick with blockages. So this channel that runs down the middle includes the chakras or what Master Shah refers to as soul houses. The most important is the fourth chakra, the heart center. When we develop the heart center, we are in essence clearing blockages that disallow us from soul communication, effectively hearing, effectively doing, uh, um, making better choices. So for example, if you uh, can hear very well, 100%, and you grabbed a couple very thick pieces of cotton and shoved them in your ear or put one of those foam things that you use in the airlines, even just now, if you put your fingers in your ears, both fingers, go ahead, try it. And then talk out loud like I am. I actually feel like I have to talk louder because it becomes very, very muted. That's exactly what's happening with the vast majority of our message centers. It's literally like we have our fingers in our ears with, with the visibility of the message centers. In other words, it's like we're covering it up. And the covering up part has to do with lifetimes of spiritual blockages. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of spiritual blockages. What causes blockages in the message center? How about making vows of love and then breaking them? That would cause a blockage in the message center. How about um, 
lying, cheating, hurting, stealing, taking advantage of others? You think that might cause a blockage in the heart center? Absolutely. Uh, what about um, offering our trust to somebody and then they break that trust and we close our heart, right? So all of these things cause our heart center to close down. It's very much like sticking your fingers in your ears or putting cotton in your ears. You can't hear the soul world unless your heart center is open, unless you take the time to clear the blockages. Now, a great deal of us block our message center, block our heart center for a variety of reasons. Um, the pain is too much, whatever the source of the pain is. Um, the world's not fair so you know we're pointing our fingers outside of us maybe one or two or three or more people dumped on us and they they broke our heart or broke their vows or or caused us such pain and suffering when we gave them everything and they took it all away from us maybe we've been crushed financially you know we we had a house and a home and kids and and then you know uh, a divorce occurred and they took everything and you're crushed and okay we've all got our our um our story we've all got our version of 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 woe is me um, but in the in the biggest picture no one's really gonna clean it up except you so we really have to kind of step up to the plate and recognize that if by clearing our hearts and our blockages we can have better relationship more happiness better health we can open our soul communication channels yay that's why we're here uh, so every part of your life can dramatically improve. Now, some people don't do that because they're like, well, if I open my heart, I'm just going to get crushed again. Well, there's a secondary answer to that, which is open your heart to your creator. Open your heart to the divine. Let the divine fill your heart. Don't put that responsibility on anybody else's shoulders. You'll be just fine. It's when we put the responsibility on other people's shoulders to fulfill our heart where it gets crushed. So... Uh, just do it right and that won't happen welcome Shura Gruby thank you for sharing welcome Elizabeth McCurdy thank you for coming hope you can stay so we're going to start by doing a practice and then we're going to practice soul communication itself so the practice is to open the message center and then I'll walk you through how you can do these practices on your own because it's important that you repeat um, these practices often the the reason there are those that have the word master in front of their name if they're an authentic master those that have very very unique abilities truly uh truly unique abilities there's a reason they have those unique abilities they've either been exceptional in previous times uh and they've carried forth that good karma into this lifetime and therefore are offering service uh from a positive and beneficial place again or they've taken the time in this lifetime to fully develop their spiritual channels. This is a major practice on that fully development path, but it won't happen accidentally, guys. You have to do the work, okay? So, the message center. What is it, where is it, how do you open it? It is a fish-sized energy center in the center of the chest. It is directly behind the chest plate, the sternum. It is uh, about the size of your fist, sits inside, uh, uh, my teacher says two inches, roughly two to two and a half inches inside the body. I just say the center of the body because everyone's body has a different thickness. Okay. Um, this message center is the same for all human beings. We all have one, but the degree of blockage is dependent upon the individual. Um, there are four powers that we always incorporate in opening uh, any of the centers we're working with or any of the spiritual practices body power where you place your hands is where the vibrations and frequencies go sound power what you chant is what you become so we will chant special specific mantras for opening this area uh, creative visualization very important mind power right body power sound power mind power creative visualization truly significantly helps in the uh, bringing additional vibrational frequency and focus into opening the areas and then the fourth power which is the most important is soul power okay and there might this looks for maybe six new people watching today so soul power as i started out by teaching earlier everyone and everything has a soul that means that our message center has a soul our heart our lungs have a soul everything is of creator therefore it has a soul and what's the purpose of every soul 
to serve. So our message center wants to serve us. When we connect to the soul of everything, uh, to the soul of what we're working with and for, we have a greater propensity of success. There's also outer souls. Jesus wants to serve us. Buddha wants to serve us. All of the beings of light want to serve us. So we ask for their service as well. That's called soul power. We, we refer to it as saying hello. It's a very simple acknowledgement of the souls and the soul world. Okay? It's also part and parcel of soul communication. You have to say hello. So we're going to say hello now. We're going to employ these four powers. So please repeat after me. Place your hands in a prayer position, but we're going to use a hand mudra called the soul light, soul service hair position. Uh, prayer position we drop the left hand in front of the heart center it might be opposite in the video but it's left hand in front of your heart center right hand gentle pointing upward we close our eyes become fully present <clears throat> repeat after me this is the soul power dear the soul of my message center my heart chakra I love you truly appreciate you Thank you for your service. Thank you for keeping my heart open. Thank you for blessing me to experience love wherever it's possible. Dear the soul of my message center, my heart chakra, you have the power to release blockages that inhibit me from healthy and accurate soul communication do a great job thank you continue we're going to connect with the other souls dear the other souls god dear beloved jesus dear beloved mother mary dear beloved buddha whoever you're comfortable calling ask their souls to come you can ask the soul of your grandmother to come you love your grandmother it doesn't matter all souls want to serve just only invite the souls to the light side okay Dear beloved Mother Earth, dear stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, we love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please come sit in my message center? Bless me to fully develop and open my message center. Bless me to clearly hear the messages from the soul world. I am very, very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so that's the soul power. So for creative visualization, I want you to visualize you have two choices. If you invited the beings of light in, you can actually see them in your message center. You can see one or all of them and visualize them sharing their light and expanding your message center. If you'd prefer, you can simply see golden light coming in from all directions, expanding your message center, okay? For the sound power, I will vacillate between a couple of different mantras. One of them will be Da I, which is Mandarin Chinese for greatest love. I will also chant divine love and might chant one or two others. Love melts all blockages and opens message centers. All right? With your eyes closed, let us do this practice together. Da I, Da I. Da I da I see the light. Da I da I da I da I da I da I greatest love. Da I da I greatest love. Da I da I da I da I da I da. Da I da I. Now I'm going to send you all a very special blessing. If you would like to receive it, this will be an actual soul, a Tao order of a golden light ball and golden liquid spring of Tao love. 
that will come to you from heaven to your message center. If it's not something that you're interested in receiving, please say, no, thank you to heaven. Uh, I don't need to see it written. Uh, and you will not receive. If you're open to receiving, it will come in just a moment. Okay? Prepare to receive. Keep your eyes closed. Notice if you feel or see anything upon the offering of this treasure. Dao order as appropriate to the power given to me through my teacher. Dao golden light ball and golden liquid spring of Dao love soul mind body transplants to all those watching all those listening as appropriate prepare transmission Dao order join Dao love soul mind body transplants as one hey yeah yeah hey yeah yeah hey yeah yeah yo okay Congratulations, you have all received an extraordinary treasure. This light ball is bigger than your body, uh, substantially bigger than your body. I won't even go into details. So let us continue. We connect now to the soul. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of the Tao, golden light ball, golden liquid spring treasure of Tao love that I just received. I love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please bless me to further develop and open my message center? Thank you. Now we will chant Dao Love Light Ball. Dao Love Golden 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 light ball. See it's spinning. It's just it's extraordinary this light ball. It's clearing so many blockages. Dao love golden light ball. 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 Thou 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 love golden light ball. And now we'll chant golden liquid springs. Thou love golden liquid springs. Thou love golden liquid springs. Thou love golden liquid springs 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 Thou love golden light ball. Thou love golden liquid springs. Thou love golden light ball. Thou love golden liquid springs. See the golden light ball and the golden liquid springs feeding and nourishing your heart center melting all kinds of blockages see the light expanding and growing each time we chant see the light fulfilling your entire chest area thou love golden light ball 
Thou love golden liquid springs, Thou love golden light ball, Thou love golden liquid springs, Thou love golden light ball, Thou love golden liquid springs, Thou love golden light ball, Thou love golden liquid springs, Thou love golden light ball, Thou love golden liquid springs, Thou love golden light ball, Thou love golden liquid springs. Now I will chant on your behalf. You chant silently. I want you to visualize that the love of this golden light ball is clearing the blockages, clearing relationship blockages, clearing financial blockages, clearing pain blockages, clearing loss blockages. See the love. This is the highest love. It can melt the blockages if you just allow the love to do so. Thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs, thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs. Visualize the beings of light you ask to come into your heart center. See them walking up to that, that hard, hard, hard place where that pain is, and they put their hands out and they melt the blockages. Thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs, thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs. Thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs, thou love golden light ball, thou love golden liquid springs. <clears throat> and now communicate with those beings of light and the Tao Golden Light Ball and Golden Liquid Spring Souls. Ask them, repeat after me, Dear the soul of the Tao Golden Light Ball, Tao Golden Liquid Springs, souls that have come to my heart center, and all of the beings of light that have come to my heart center, I love you. I thank you for your unconditional service. I know you're very, very busy. I ask most humbly that any time I think of you, that you please come to my heart center. Bless me to release the pain and the suffering I have been holding on to for all lifetimes. I wish to more fully develop my soul awareness. I wish to more fully develop my soul communication abilities. I wish to release the past and move forward in the greatest love, peace, and harmony. I am extremely grateful that I can ask this request of you. So even when I finish today, every time I think of you, if you can come, please come and bless my request. I am very, very grateful. And now we offer our gratitude by offering our greatest love. And we say, thank you, the divine. Thank you, the Tao. Thank you, the source. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. One more time. 
Thank you, the Divine. Thank you, the Tao. Thank you, the Source. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And in your heart, bow your head to those beings of light. They're still with you. They're still serving. And the treasures you received for the Tao love, I will explain the value of that to you while you share what this experience was like for you. And then we're going to do individual practices to practice soul communication. So please share your experience, what that practice was like for you. For any of those with third eye abilities, I don't know if Master Avi is still with us or if Catherine is still with us, anybody else, please share anything you might have seen with your third eye, especially uh, with the practices and with the receiving of the Tao love. So I want those to understand the value of what you received because most people don't know. They don't truly understand. A sphere of light to be formed by the four powers on your own accord would take you to form one the size of a quarter. Okay, about the size of one inch in circle would take you 60 years of dedicated focus, minimum six hours a day, chanting and serving humanity to form a solid light ball in your body the size of a quarter. Anybody have time for that? Very few people have time for that. The dedicated masters in humanity have time for that. The ones that are sitting in a cave and they're just wanting to reach enlightenment. They're the ones that have time for that. Okay. What you received was something five times bigger than that. Something the size of about two inches round. And it is a golden light ball. Five times more powerful, condensed, and it carries in it the frequency of the divine's love. The divine's love is a lot more uh, pure and original than ours, which is why we have suffering, because we're a long way away from the divine and the Tao's love. Tao is another word for source. So this was a very high level of frequency that came to you in a light ball that would have taken you an absolute minimum of 60 years chanting six hours a day to receive that. That's absolute minimum. It's actually take you a lot more than that. We'll just keep it at that. So you want to make sure you offer your gratitude to, uh, to source for the ability to receive that. Because it's hard for us at the human level to comprehend the value of what you received, it's important to educate yourself a bit more. This golden light ball can you can literally move it anywhere in your body. It's yours. It's been delivered to you. You have pain in your knee, pain in your back. Dear the soul of my Tao love, golden light ball, golden liquid spring. What is that? Yin and Yang. I love you. Thank you for coming to me to serve my soul journey. Please go to my sore back. And as I chant you, please clear the blockages in my back. This is a gift from heaven through my spiritual teacher, Master Shah, transmitted into his books. His books have been left for humanity to serve long after he's gone. And people will be able to pick up a book and receive this transmission. And literally, you can offer blessings to others, to your children, to loved ones, with this Tao light ball. It's beyond, beyond your comprehension, the value of it. Truly amazing. So I see some comments here. I'm going to uh, respond to those. And so Shelly, very emotional experience. Wonderful. Uh, welcome, Abby Lynn. Bonnie says, I saw my grandma in my mom's soul. Beautiful. Congratulations. Robin felt kisses on her neck. Yeah, our, our, our Heavens team was invited. They're all around us. There could have been any number of beautiful souls serving you. Uh, Wayne Cohen felt very calm and beautiful. Uh, Bonnie felt so great. Uh, she felt so lost and heartbroken. Yeah, this 
you know, the, the, the divine Tao source love, it's not, it's not just words, guys. It's very potent. It's a, it's a just as real as, as our love, but the frequency is dramatically higher. We want to bring higher frequencies of that nature into our body. It's just going to help. Uh, Apasia says, felt the tingling energy in her body first, the heart all the way down to the feet, saw golden light. Thank you for the generosity. Thank you, Master Shah. I would not be able to offer that if he did not give me the authority to do so, and if he did not place it in the books. Uh, CJ saw a huge light over her, blinking lights in different colors, and angels around. Amazing. Grateful. Your spiritual channels are opening more, CJ. Wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, Amy felt tingling in the head. Uh, Catherine, countless bow downs for the amazing treasure. She saw and felt golden light ball and golden liquid springs expand and purify her soul communication channel. And the treasures were carried up to her third eye uh, and her crown chakra. Excellent. Uh, dog on in. Priceless treasures. So this is an example. Now we're going to do an actual practice. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is choose a being of light that you resonate with. It could be God, it could be uh, one of the saints, it could be a Buddha, it could be whoever, you, it could be Mother Earth, okay? Whatever and whoever you're comfortable with. And you're going to ask for a communication from them, okay? I'll set you up for this. And I'm going to teach you how you can best receive. Because what happens is we have the mind, it gets in the way. This kind of practice uh, gets us out of our mind into our heart center. So it's very, very important, especially if you don't do this a lot, to always do a practice just like this. You've received a permanent Tao treasure. This treasure is extraordinary, guys. I mean extraordinary. And all you have to do is use it every day. A few minutes, dear my Tao light ball, light liquid, Tao, uh, uh, golden light ball, golden liquid springs of Tao love. You don't have to remember the whole name. You could just see my Tao love, you know, light ball and liquid springs. I love you. I bow to you. I'm so grateful for your service to me. Can you please bless me to open my heart center, clear blockages in my monkey mind so I can connect and receive a message from my soul or from heaven or whoever you request, okay? It's a very good habit daily to connect to, to your soul and to a message from heaven. And so you would do it by repeating this practice. Okay? Uh, if you want to further enhance your field for a higher possibility of a successful soul reading, you want to include a energy field in your zone, your area, and that's why I harp and I will forever harp on love, peace, and harmony because it's like a massive light ball feng shui field so you want to keep it around you all the time. Who wouldn't want the world's best feng shui field all around them? It's kind of like lifting you off the earth plane in frequencies. And all you got to do is play it. And so uh, try to have it with you, especially if you're doing soul communication, all right? So let us do this together. Let us close our eyes again. Place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. Closing our eyes reconnecting to your heart center <clears throat> repeat after me dear the soul of my golden light ball Tao golden light ball golden liquid spring treasure of Tao love I love you Ani respect you thank you for your presence could you please bless me again to open my heart center more so that I can receive a pure message thank you so now I'm going to chant a few more minutes to clear blockages a little bit more, and then I'll walk you through connecting. Okay? Continue to chant with me, seeing the golden light, golden liquid springs. Dow golden light ball, Dow golden liquid springs, Dow golden light ball. Dao golden liquid springs, Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid springs, Dao golden light ball, 
Thou golden liquid springs, Thou golden light ball, Thou golden liquid springs, Thou golden light ball, Thou golden liquid springs. I want you to see the ball expanding to your entire chest. Thou golden light ball, thou golden liquid springs, thou golden light ball, thou golden liquid springs. Now to your entire torso, top of your head down to the base of your body, see the golden light ball clearing blockages. Thou golden light ball. Thou golden liquid springs, Thou golden light ball, Thou golden liquid springs, Thou golden light ball, Thou golden liquid springs, Thou golden light ball, Thou golden liquid springs. Continue to chant silently. And I want you to place your mind at that lower back, at that dip in your lower back, straight across from your belly button. See yourself sitting there. See yourself sitting in that little spot, like a golden being inside your own body. If you cannot visualize that, just put your mind there. When your mind is there, when your body is there, from this place, ask, Dear my soul, I love you. Can you please give me a message? And from that place, continue to chant gently, Thou golden light ball. And when you hear, I have a message for you, then receive it. Otherwise, continue to chant. When you receive the message, make note of it in your mind. your mind in your Ming Min point at the dip in your back. If you have received, think about what you received. What were the exact words? Remember the words. ask for a message from our beloved Creator. Repeat, Dear the soul of my beloved Divine Creator, I love you, deeply, deeply respect you, humbled, honored, and grateful. Could you please offer me a message that is most important for me at this time? Bring your mind back to the Mingmen point. Continue to chant until you're here. I am ready to give you a message. Pay attention to the message. Once you receive the message, go back over it again in your mind. 
memorize the message. So remember the message from your soul. Take a moment to remember it. And remember the message from your divine creator. If you'd like, please post them. How do you know if a message is accurate? How do you know it's not the monkey mind? The answer, as taught by my spiritual father, Master Shah, is if a message is loving, supportive, and uplifting, then it is a true and pure message. Because anything that is not loving, supportive, and uplifting is coming from a place other than a being of light. Beautiful. I see some great comments. Nancy receives, let go of the old ways. Let the ego go. Beautiful. And be open to receiving and giving. Which one of those is harder for you, Nancy? Receiving or giving? Be open to the one that's harder for you. The ego, often, let's say it's receiving. That's the ego. Contemplate that. Uh, Apatia. All clear, the love from within, beautiful. Angie, she's gonna trust her soul says you're doing a great job. Beautiful. Be kind and gentle. Uh, from Candy. Angie, then I feel divine wish to say you're capable, you're strong, and love. You'll notice that these are all supportive, honoring, loving, uplifting messages. Those are true soul world messages. Ali says, I felt and heard something like I have a higher and lower self and interference with her spiritual growth. Yes, that's probably accurate. Uh, Nancy, yeah, receiving. And so Ali, um, the, the lower self is the ego self. It's the part that is trying to comprehend and understand versus heaven is downloading, you know, libraries full of wisdom but we can't receive because our mind's too busy. When we open our heart, when we do practices, we can hear heaven's messages. When we meditate, we can receive heaven's wisdom. We have to uh, uh, give ourselves the time to allow for the messages to come by doing the practices. Uh, Anne says, appreciate what you have. Yes, gratitude. Very good message, Annie. Gratitude is very, very key. Catherine, uh, I see the word Hicks. I'm not sure if that, if that has a meaning. Hope, patience, and humility, CJ received. Welcome uh, to all the folks that have came in in the last little bit. Uh, Catherine asks for a message. Today it's not about offering messages, Catherine, although I do do that as a private part. You're welcome to come to me personally. Today was about opening our heart centers and practicing to receive messages. Uh, Kathleen says her soul says accept that she is growing in love the divine gave her the message I want to see you flourish I will help you I have never left you Wow beautiful messages now the divine speaks through all of us to the others okay it's very important to know that that message is individual but the verbiage affects all of us because we are all one uh, love you love you all so great 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 messages so this is uh, important if we want to not depend because honestly guys you shouldn't have to go to a psychic or a soul reader like myself or uh, anybody else if you did the due diligence the only reason I have these abilities the reason I've gotten to a high level of accuracy I did the due diligence I did what I'm teaching you uh, when you do the due diligence yourself you empower yourself to receive 
guidance and wisdom. When you receive authentic guidance and wisdom, how can you tell if it's authentic? It's uplifting, it's beneficial, it's loving. Okay? If it doesn't meet those criteria, uplifting, beneficial, loving, then it's not true guidance. But as you continue to develop your ability to hear, what happens is you self-clear your own blockages. Because why do you have relationship problems? Because the blockages are here, you didn't open your heart. Why do you have financial blockages? Same thing. Why are you unable to get past that pain, that suffering? Same thing. You're not going to be able to have that happy, enjoyable life unless you do the steps by opening your heart center. The side effect of opening your heart center is you get to hear clear messages. And when you hear clear messages, you'll hear to do this and to don't do that, to call your best friend now. And when you call them, you, you do something that's very important that helps both of you. Um, the soul in the soul world is always doing their best to assist you to avoid mistakes, to make better choices, to avoid creating more karma, and so forth. And it all begins by opening your message center. Soul communication and improving your soul communication ability begins here. So do more practice here. There are many, many practices. So it just depends on you at this point. You received an extraordinary treasure that the uh, Tao Golden Light Ball and Golden Liquid Springs of Tao Love. My goodness, you guys are so blessed. Make sure you do not forget this blessing. You have received it. Turn it on. Ask it to serve you every day. Uh, you can be driving to work. Remember, as part of your protocol, you sit down in the car, you get ready to turn on the ignition. Uh, Dear my Dow Golden Light Ball, Dow Liquid Springs, please turn on. Bless me to more fully develop my heart center as I sing love, peace, and harmony on the way to work. Okay? These are uh, simple practices that constantly keeping your heart open. Therefore, you receive the messages. You can avoid traffic jams, all kinds of stuff by having an open heart. Okay? So this is today's practice. I'm very grateful that you have all come. You've commented. Thank you for sharing as well. If you want to accelerate opening your spiritual channels, I do offer uh, transmissions for opening the heart center and the Kundalini on the other uh, and third eye, the other centers. Connect with me on that. They're very, very reasonable. Clears the Shen Shi Jing blockages, light bulb protections, brand new heart centers, brand new third eyes. All of this is possible. Learn more at, at my website. Call me. I can fill in the details. Uh, 9888090. Excuse me, that's the center. My number is uh, 469-6199. Uh, Kristen has been very good about posting that on the, on the chat board. And so thank you all for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button. If you're new and you enjoyed this, please subscribe and you'll know when I go live. Uh, and love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The weekend's coming up. Have an awesome weekend. Last calling, Master Francisco is in Honolulu. Come to Honolulu tonight. He'll be at the center tonight on live stream. This is uh, about three hours from now. Yeah, yeah, about three and a half hours from now. DRSHA.com uh, forward slash Hawaii. And then you'll see the registration links. It's, uh, well, Thursday night tonight's not going to be there. You'll have to go to um, our uh, thir normal Thursday night event. But the Friday night one is free also. And then the weekend, a very special event you do have to be approved for. He's here this week and next week. So make sure you attend that, guys. It's, this master is extraordinary. You like me, you're going to love him. So we'll see you there. Love you, love you, love you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.